The only way I can be beat is if you cheat. If you cheat. If you play fair and square, I'm gonna win. <laughs> I mean... What up, babes? Welcome back. It's Barb City, where it be hella mother effing Liddy. Let's get into it before we do. As always, remember when in doubt, pull that mother effing blunt out. Don't forget to fill my comments with money bags, unicorns, or hashtag BCG for good vibes. All right. Our first topic is going to be about Jaden Alexis. Like, there is something that I noticed about Jaden, Alexis, and Blueface that I just have to point out. So, Jaden, Alexis just put out a new song called Mamiana. As you guys can see here, it was released on August 30th, 2024. And again, as you guys can see on this screenshot, Blueface is a writer, okay? Which we're not surprised. He writes all of her stuff. But anyway, um, we also know that Blueface has been in jail. So we do want to give him his tens for that because even though he's behind bars, he's still holding Jaden Alexis down. I wish he would do that for his other child as well. But anyway, let's stay on topic. So I don't know if you guys remember Krishan Rock saying that Blueface was in control of all her money he forced her to give him all her money. He would play like she was broke when she asked for some and things like that, right? Now, Jaden Alexis is releasing her music under the label that she is signed to. I guess she is signed to Columbia Records, right? But I noticed that all her videos that are being put out on YouTube are being released under Blueface's YouTube account, which means that those checks are allegedly, in my opinion, going to Blueface instead of Jaden Alexis. Like, I can't figure out why she does not just have her videos and her songs being posted to her very own YouTube account since now she is her very own celebrity. You know what I mean? But Look at this right here. This is Blueface's YouTube account, right? And as y'all can see right here, all the way from, um, let me see, post-op, Barbie, Barbie meet, remix, the song Mamiana that she just dropped the other day, Stewie, and Workout were all released under Blueface's um youtube account so i'm wondering if he's doing this for her to bring her more attention because he already has the following or is he doing this because he is controlling her funds behind the scenes i want to know you guys' opinion on that and let's go on ahead and move forward into ice spice so ice chip was performing you guys and one of her fans decided to throw toilet paper onto the stage, right? So I'm going to play the clip and then we're going to get into it. Check this out. So you guys already know I have to keep it real every single time. My opinions my opinions are not going to change just because I dislike an artist and their ways, right? So I am not okay with people that buy tickets to go and see these artists just to throw things on the stage at them. Luckily, um, for I Spice, unlike the other artists, this was not something hard or she could have been injured. Now, I'm wondering if this was just, you know, a prank from one of her fans since she is always talking about, you know, feces. No, 
know, but y'all, that's not funny though. The way you, I'm not trying to laugh, y'all know. I'm not sure it's not funny. Stop laughing. Now, let's go on ahead and move forward into Ice Spice and 77 Cents. So, Lotto was doing an interview with Funny Marco, you guys. And they basically had a performer on the stage basically acting like they were trying out. And they were doing a whole bunch of nothing, just, you know, whatever. Lotto was asked by Funny Marco, like, what is it giving? And Lotto decided to literally name drop Ice Spice. Not only did she say, you know, it's kind of giving Ice Spice, but then she said it's giving um i'm cute gra i think it's what she said but anyway check this out that's it it gives me um i'm like an actress ice on the side yeah i don't know what was going on but... it was like i'm so cute gra mm. yeah. like, we get it yeah like chill the shade embarrassing Anyways, my opinion on this, it's just like Ice Spice and Lotto are just dragging this, okay? Neither one of them know why they're beefing to begin with. They just started shading each other out of nowhere, honestly. 77 Cents just did an interview, or not 77 Cents, but um, Ice Chip just did an interview not too long ago where she said that she felt like Lotto was dragging it and she needed to let it go so i'm just like you know the beef is stale and i feel like they just need to move on at this point but anyways let's move forward into bot cb and the sympathy queen okay there was a conversation that took place be between bot cb's bots and the sympathy queens bots over on twitter right now, um, Megan the Stallion's bots basically asked if they were going to help Botsy B's album when she released it. And you guys will never believe the response that the hotties decided to give Barty Gang, you guys. And to be quite honest, not only is it fake as hell, but it is very much hilarious. <laughs> Now, without doing too much and reading too much of what was going on, as you guys can see, it says, Hotties, are we streaming slash pushing her album, right? And she is talking about Bot CB or they or whatever. Um, people started commenting and saying things like, Ho, you better after we got his to number one. Y'all can't even stream slash push Meg's album. Y'all are too embarrassing. Did they push Megan? And one more person, which was um, from Barty Gang, said, you guys barely pushed Megan's album. Fuck <laughs> Clock it. So let me tell you guys why I found this interesting, right? <laughs> um, the hotties have their mother effing nerve, chow. All right. For them to sit here and say that Botsy B's fans did not help with Megan, so they are not going to help Botsy B's album is just hilarious because Botsy B's fans or excuse me botsy b's bots teamed up with the hotties to push his to number one just to spite Nicki minaj but have been unable to get um botsy b a number one since then right so it's just like not only did they help you guys push his to number one they haven't been able to do it for their very own fave. And then you guys turn around and tell them, you know what? We're just going to forget about you guys helping us with his 
you didn't help with Megan, so that's why we're not going to help you guys with Boxy B's album. Either way it goes, I am totally, totally here um, for you guys deciding not to assist. Why you gagged me like that, bitch? No, she didn't eat that. Bitch, you ate that. I got to get your point. You definitely ate that, bitch. Now. Let's go on ahead and move forward into Nicki Minaj. So there are two things that we have to get into as far as the queen goes. And it is time to add some razzle dazzle onto the video. So the first thing is going to be a topic that is going around on the internet ever since Nicki Minaj decided to start opening her mouth and standing up for herself and what's right. And the next one is going to be the VMAs and Billboard trying to use Nicki Minaj and the Barbs yet again for promo, okay? So, let's get into it. Um, People are saying things like this, and please take note that this is not a real Barb account. And if you guys are following this Barb over on Facebook, you guys should kindly... Um, block them. But they said, sometimes I wish she would just close her mouth and put that phone away. Soon they will be, there will be a collaboration with these girls just to make her seem as she's the bad guy. Sometimes she's fighting for people that don't even fight for her nor choose her. But I love her more. No hate. Excuse me, you guys. Like, you guys can read that and see that. It was not me. It is clearly the person that wrote it. Um, Barb City Mother effing blooper rolls. But this post came with many others after Nicki Minaj said what she had to say about Lil Wayne, right? So I'm going to give you guys a very, very good needed opinion on stuff like this. But first, um, let me read some of the comments, one of them being from me. Uh, the first one says, why should she close her mouth? She could say whatever she want to say, and we barbs are going to stand for her. One of the fake fans, everyone in the industry has freedom of speech, but Nikki is not allowed. I said, Nikki is human, and she deserves to act like one. Humans talk, cry, yell, etc. when they're upset. She's human and she's been putting up with B BS for years and she was quiet. She's tired and she's standing up for herself and people that she loves. When she was quiet, everyone wanted her to react to what was being said because she looked scared. Now everyone wants her to be quiet because they see her voice alone will make a mother effort chart. I stand with Nikki. So you guys, let's be very clear, okay? And there was a time when Nicki Minaj would not address a single rumor that was going around about her, okay? There was a time when people were calling Nicki Minaj washed up, bitter, jealous, um, simply because she didn't want to work with none of the new girls, right? People were saying things like, oh, Nicki Minaj, why don't you address this? Why don't you address that? Are you scared? Uh, why are you so quiet? Like literally. And then as soon as she started opening her mouth, everybody wants her to shut up. It doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever. And Nicki Minaj tried to tell you guys, as soon as I start talking about this, this, that, and the third, my voice is going to help these people accomplish certain goals and now since you guys see that happening with your own eyes now it's oh nikki needs to shut up and let me tell you guys another thing nikki minaj is human okay she is human and she has every right to stand up for herself and what she feels is right you guys and that's it that's all if you guys were going through something in your everyday life or in your in the workplace or whatever you're going to stand up for yourself. So why can't Nicki Minaj? All these other artists sit up online and say whatever they want to say, disrespect their fans and so much more. And nobody says anything at all. God forbid Nicki Minaj get on the internet and stand up for Lil Wayne. Okay. Anyways, I hate the way people are trying to silence Nicki Minaj, but 
with that being said, let's get into the last part of the razzle dazzle. Okay. Um, as you guys know, Nicki Minaj has been headlining the VMAs, right? She's been hosting the VMAs, excuse me. And she's been bringing in great numbers, whatever. There was a huge story just released where um, basically somebody who's in connection with Rock Nation, Perez, Desiree Perez, made it to where Megan Thee Stallion is going to be headlining the VMAs in Nicki Minaj's hometown, right? And so it is funny that I see this post right here by Billboard that says, how to watch the 2024 MTV VMAs without cable. But look at the thumbnail that they're using, you guys. And what does it say? How to watch the 2023 MTV VMAs without cable. Now, this is how they do slick mother effing stuff. So that when the barbs like me say that they're using us for promotion, they can go back and say, oh, we just forgot to change the link and that's why um it used Nicki Minaj's picture instead of Megan the Stallions like you guys come on it's getting old it's getting ridiculous like Nicki Minaj and the barbs are used for absolutely everybody's promotion and it's tiring like can you guys have your own style of a rollout at this point without including us Anyways, you guys, before Bar Barb City Blooper Rolls get to rolling, I'm going to go on ahead and get up out of here. Let me know what you guys feel about all of those topics. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks.